Good morning, everyone. Woke up early this morning, turned on the computer, and while I wasn't planning on doing any recording today, I had a pleasant surprise with a new patch that's come out for Motorsport Manager. This is the first patch, and I know a lot of people, including me, have been waiting on this one to see what updates they were going to add to the game, as well as any bug fixes that they were going to release. So we're going to talk about that. But first, let me start by saying to those of you who are in the United States, I hope you're having a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you're able to spend quite a bit of time with your uh, friends, family, and loved ones, and enjoy some, some time off, because uh, that's what's most important. As much as we love playing games, the family is what's most important, so I uh, hope you're having a happy Thanksgiving for those of you in the United States. Also, before we get into talking about the update, I want to let you know that uh, the next, I believe it's three videos, uh, there will be a Motorsport Manager video this morning, which may have already re released by the time you're seeing this. Uh, also, there will be one Friday and then one Saturday. Those were all recorded you know, a few days ago and are not affected by any of these updates. So you may see some things that are mentioned here in the updates um, as far as bug fixes or anything like that that you will also notice in those videos. So uh, any any new videos that you see next week should have uh, any updates that we talk about here. Uh, but for the next few days, those videos are already pre-recorded, so we'll not have uh, any access to those particular updates. So we want to start off by ta taking a look at uh, a few of the updates that are in this particular patch. They didn't label the patch, uh, but when I go into the game, it's version 1.1, and then there's a long string of numbers after that, so we'll shorten it to version 1.1 and let's talk about what's in the patch and also what's not in the patch that I know a lot of people including myself were waiting for. All right so I've put a few numbers on here only four items that I specifically want to mention uh, other than that there are a lot of bug fixes in here I haven't really encountered that many bugs in the game so some of these may apply to you uh, but haven't necessarily applied to me so the ones I've ones I've listed specifically here by number uh, are the ones that really caught my eye and some things that I was waiting for. First of all, number one, fixed an issue where maximum performance was not being taken into consideration on new season parts. That's a huge, huge one for me if it means what I think it means. Um, and this has to do with car development. Again, what I'm taking this to mean is on car development, you know that uh, we've already gone through one complete season in our Let's Play series, and we're in, you know, working our way through toward the middle of season two. Well, one of the things that the game does is when you get to the end of a season, your next season beginning performance will be based on, in part at least, on where you end the season, the previous season. Now, not necessarily the, the numbers themselves, like you might have a performance of 150, and that doesn't necessarily translate to a beginning performance of 150 the, the next season. But what it does is it tries to keep you roughly in line with the other team. So in other words, if you have a fifth place car, you know, based on your stats, then it tries to keep you with a fifth place car to begin the next season. So the numbers themselves don't seem to matter all that much uh, from what I've seen, but it does try to keep you roughly in, in line with where you ended last season. If you remember in our Let's Play, we ended last season with the ninth place car. We began this season with a 10th place car. So not terribly surprising. That's roughly where we were anyway. Uh, but this is huge because one of the things as you continue to develop parts for your car is you have some options. You can increase the, the baseline numbers for those parts, or you can choose to not quite increase the baseline as much, but choose to increase the maximum for those parts so that basically once you get done developing the parts if you put everything into the baseline number then you don't have very much improvement that your staff can make afterwards as they're working on improving those parts well if you increase in, instead the maximum uh, number on those parts then for the remainder of the season or at least for the next few weeks or so as you're working on parts you can get even more performance out of the car that wasn't previously being taken into account, and I'm very happy that it is now, again, assuming that I'm reading that correctly, because it should be. I mean, let's face it, the, the information that your, uh, your crew and your, 
your team members uh, use to improve your parts really shouldn't go away at the end of the season. I mean, they didn't forget that knowledge. It's still there. Uh, so it should be taken into account. And I believe this is what the number one item does here. Uh, the second thing I have marked on here is fixed a bug where if practice ended with rain, the first screen that showed the race was also raining, even if the weather was sunny. Now, uh, this is not a huge deal for me. It's just a, a graphical thing, but I, I know I've encountered this multiple times uh, in the playthrough. So it's nice to see that they've got that fixed. Moving on to number three, fixed AI braking sharply when going past a car exiting the pits. I haven't noticed this a lot, but I have noticed it from time to time. So that's something that's caught my eye. And I did want to mark that and point that out. Uh, number four, fixed drivers giving opposite downforce feedback during practice. This is one that has become quite funny. At first, whenever I encountered this the first few times, I thought, you know, what in the world is going on? The driver's telling me that there's too much downforce. I'm reducing the downforce, and he says it's now worse. So uh, it was funny it, it, once you figure out that that's what's going on and it is reversed. So now they've got that fixed, and we'll see how that affects us going on. Again, not for the next few videos, uh, but, you know, working on that uh, beginning in any videos I upload for next week. Now, I know there's also uh, another bug that I've seen mentioned by multiple people about uh, the move over flag for slower cars and that was really hurting a lot of people they couldn't get past the slower cars and it was costing them time and costing them positions so that has uh, supposedly been addressed although I've not been really fast enough to have to encounter that a whole lot uh, but I know that was a big deal uh, for a lot of people now let's talk very quickly about what was not included and for me uh, while there was, I'm sure, some bug fixes and things that people were looking for that were not included, the big thing for me here is the Steam Workshop. I am extremely excited about the possibilities for this game once they get that out there. Of course, we still don't know how much they're going to let us have access to with the Steam Workshop, how much we're going to be able to change. I already know that there are people that have changed you know, drivers' names to to really coincide with real Formula One driver names. Uh, same thing with team names and sponsors and so forth. So they've done some changes like that, which is great that they were able to get to that information. But some of the things that I'm looking forward to is really being able to open this up. I think the game really has the the really the bones and the, uh, the skeleton for uh, a great game that we can really expand on if we can add new graphics models uh, such as new types of cars. Of course, I'm interested in adding stock cars to the game, but not just that. You know, yeah, I want, you know, to be able to put NASCAR tracks in the game and also, you know, the stock cars themselves and that kind of thing. But even beyond that, I'm interested in, you know, let's have longer races. Let's have the ability to do uh, endurance type racing. Let's add the Lamar type cars in here, you know, and so on. I mean, you can see that it's really limitless if we have access to being able to add that type of thing into the game, it remains to be seen whether or not that will be uh, something they allow. Also, something that has entered my mind and does quite a bit uh, on different games is automation. Uh, it would be nice if we could write some code to have the AI automate some things for us in the game uh, and also you know, take some things out of the game that I don't necessarily enjoy doing. Other people might, but uh, for me, I know during the game, it would be nice if we could set up our actual race engineer, uh, who seems to be rather pointless at the moment, uh, to do some things for, you know, the car during the race. Now, I know the engineers have some uh, some great benefits as far as developing parts and, and that kind of thing. But what I'm interested in is during the race, you know, I would like to be able to set up a certain scenario where, OK, here's when I want you to pit the car. So that I can basically sit back instead of having to run everything during the race. Because if you've been following the playthrough, uh, you know that a lot of times whenever the safety car comes out, it's you know sometimes several seconds before I realize it's out because I might be checking on weather, I'm checking on you know tire wear, I'm checking on uh, condition of the car. So it might be several seconds, and I just miss a chance to pit because I didn't see it. So it'd be nice if I could set up the AI to say, look, I want you to pit when there's you know, just over one lap of fuel left or whenever the tire wear gets below X percentage or, you know, something like that. 
So I'd love to have options like that. So there's a lot of things that are really riding on the Steam Workshop for the future of this game. Uh, as much as I'm enjoying it, you know, there's going to come a time where it, it would be great if there were other options for cars and series available. So I'm really hoping uh, that they can get to that as soon as possible so that people can get to work on that. In fact, if it's something I can do, I would love uh, to work on a mod uh, of, of that nature. So something to keep in mind going forward. I'm pleased with what they've done so far. Uh, I know this is just, you know, version one patch, but um, I'm very interested in see what they do in the game going forward. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.